so network topology right talk about network topology right so as you have mentioned now like how that is that is a structurized basically right how those computers are connected with each other in that network refers to your topology does that make sense like how those computers in the network they are connected with each other that is referred to your network topology the manner in which those systems are or those devices are connected that arrangement actually I'll try to give you a very simple example in order to you know uh, remember it consider your network as your city okay consider network as a city so your network topology will be the road map of that city like how your traffic will be flowing into that in that city right so like if you want to go to a to b for example if you want to go or if you're trying to go from a to b your destination basically like you know from one point to another so what i'm trying to say is for example if you're living in delhi and if you want to go to bangalore for example right if you want to go to bangalore is there only one way to go to delhi to bangalore or is there any other way as well a lot of ways are there right like either i can take a direct flight direct flight or either i can take a stoppage and then go to bangalore right multiple ways are there correct so similarly what i'm trying to say over here is let's suppose you are living in a delhi okay in delhi we have a lot of places like you know we have cannot place we have cp right we have mayur vihar just for example i'm giving you over here right so if you want to go from here to here right there there won't be only one highway to go from your cannot place to your mayur vihar right there will be multiple more different different roads will be there different different highways will be there that through which you know you can go from cp to mayur vihar am i right from one destination to another one from one location to another there will be multiple roads there will be multiple multiple paths through which you can reach to your destination right so that thing is defined in your that is something which you can consider to your network topology okay so network consider your network as your city okay and in that city how your road you know road map is that is your network topology through which your you can say you know you will be able to understand how your traffic is flowing actually over there okay so if one road it's blocked for example one path is blocked so you have another different routes in order to reach to your destination make sense clear everyone so that will be considered as your network topology okay types of topology if you talk about in types of topology you have mentioned i won't go much in depth we have bus we have mesh we have star we have hybrid we have ring we have different different types of topology right you can say refer to manner in which network are arranged network topology types bus mesh star hybrid ring right so in bus topology actually we call that one cable as your backbone actually okay always remember that so there will be one backbone through which or one single cable you can say through which uh, every computer we call them nodes you can say links uh, you know or those nodes those every computer of your you know entire network you know every device is connected to that particular single cable that is referred to your backbone okay this is a bus topology so it transmits what it transmit the data from one end to another in a single direction i will do what i will just put a put image for that so that you can understand so in that image can you see there is a one single cable this cable one single cable that is going from here 
to here right and that cable every system is attached to it isn't it every device is attached to that particular one single cable isn't it correct so this single cable guys this single cable is referred to as your backbone also okay the single cable is backbone because if anything happens to this cable don't you think entire entire network will go down right that is the reason this single cable is referred to your backbone in your burst topology so what happens just to give an idea if someone is a is trying to send anything to b it will be sending to each and everyone kind of a thing like you can say broadcast is happening in your burst topology but main thing is if your backbone if your cable fails basically then entire whole system will crash down over there okay and if your network traffic is heavy your you know it increases the chances of collision in your network as well right then we have mesh topology so let's suppose this is your a this is your b c d and e right so you can say everyone is interconnected to each other right every device is connected to another device via particular channel right so they have their own dedicated channels you can say right so these channels they are basically known as your links different different links are there for like you know a is having a link with b a is having a link with c a is having a link with d and a is having a link with e as well correct right so it is very robust you can say this kind of a you know topology is very robust right your fault they can be diagnosed very easily right your data you can say can we see your data is reliable in this particular portion can we see your data is rela reliable like let's suppose if a is trying to send something to b it is trying to send something to b and somehow this link it failed it is having some fault so what about the data will the data will reach to b so we can see your data is reliable right so if one link goes down we will be configured in such a way that from then your data will be passed from your a to c then c to b correct so you can say installation configuration they are quite challenge over here that they are difficult although because we get some mesh thing right so you can say costing i would say of cables will also be a bit high rather than rest, you know comparing with others right so if you have less number of systems or devices then it is pretty much cool right and maintenance also requires a bit more you can say maintenance high as well right so it's a mesh then we have star star is an interesting one so what happens in your star guys so there is one single device in your center right rest of them will be connected to your that single device can you see so all those devices they are connected to your this you can say you know hub or we can put up a switch if you want to through a cable right every device is connected to it so this thing this particular center thing central part this is referred to as your central node okay and all other nodes they are connected to your center node over here okay so if you are using a hub obviously it can go for the broadcasting devices right it can broadcast a message to other devices as well as a property of a hub what happens if you are sending any message to anyone through your hub it will be broadcasted to each and every one while it can be a switch through which we can maintain the you can say entire you know uh, table through which if you want to send one particular thing to another one it will directly go to it right so it depends what you are using on this centralized part so basically your star you can say everyone is connected to this particular single node over here uh, which is a central node okay it can be any device hub or switch and through which your conversation will be happy your data will be passed on right so this is your star topology then we have hybrid hybrid is nothing hybrid is just a mixture of two or more okay if you are using star plus bus plus mesh it will be considered as your hybrid topology right then we have a ring topology right so two dedicated point to point links are there you know you know through which they can connect a device to the two devices located on the either side of it right and we are now creating a ring over here of devices through which a data is forwarded you know your repeaters will be used until it reaches the target device so basically what will happen if this is your a if this is your a this is your b c d e if a wants to send something to e you no know, what will happen or like a wants to send something to d for example it will be going in this format 
okay so to prevent it from having a data loss we use repeaters over here in order to send it efficiently over there clear with this